Hey, this is Blake from the Gig Harbor Fly Shop, and today we are going to be tying up uh, a little mantis shrimp for bonefish, and um, has a couple different names. This is like a this one right here is called an orange bearded mantis shrimp. Um, there's the Verca's uh, Verca's spawning mantis shrimp, the Verca's uh, uh, mantis. I mean, it, it's just it's become more of a um, it's kind of like the clouser. It's become more of a style of fly. Uh, but it imitates shrimp and it's a great um, it's a great fly. I've had lots of uh, lots of success with this thing um, on bonefish um, all over the Caribbean and Christmas Island, all sorts of stuff. So uh, we're gonna tie it a little bit differently than than what I have right here because uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie it on one of these Arex shrimp hooks that have a really cool bend to them. I love this hook. It's a great hook. Um, we're gonna uh, tie for the bot uh, for the tail. We're gonna tie in some craft fur for the tail. The body is gonna be a UV2 scud shrimp in tan. We're gonna use some local legs in tan for this one. Uh, Hairline has a new two-tone shrimp leg out that is really cool. In our material kit, we're actually gonna give you the two-tone so you can pick e either color or, or uh, do it halfway. Um, we're going to tie in some little shrimp eyes in the back and then for the the front for the weight um there's a couple couple ways to tie it and so um there's uh there's these new stealth eyes from uh from hairline that are it's a bead chain that's like a almost like powder coated and there's some really cool stealthy colors in there um but you could even just use bead chain but um but I really think these are cool. They come in some great colors. Uh, in our material kit to tie this fly, it comes with the stuff I mentioned, um, but it also is gonna come with uh, the stealth eyes, but it, it's also gonna come with brass eyes. And it's good when you're tying bonefish flies to not only have your flies in different sizes, but to have them in different weights. And it's, it might even be more important to have it in different weights than it is in different sizes. Um, and so depending on the depth, uh, you know, if you're fishing shallow, those bead chain eyes are really gonna help you out. Brass eyes, you know, are gonna be more for uh, some significant water depth. <laughs> significant meaning like, you know, two and a half feet <laughs> or something like that. So anyways, we're gonna, let's jump into it and uh, get tying. And uh, just remember that all the materials are in the uh, description below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get updated with all the new tying videos we have coming out. Let's get tying. Okay, gonna tie the eyes in. I'm gonna keep these up close to the I have the hook. Okay, before I tie my tail in, right in the middle here, I'm going to tie in just a couple legs. Gonna wrap them up front, keep them out of the way. Now for the tail, pull out the fluff. Take some of these longer fibers and I'll just restack them. Couple pieces of uh, root beer crystal flash. Couple on the bottom, couple on the top. Okay, so now I'm just going to tie in a couple of the, uh, the loco legs. Here in the back, tie two legs in. I'm gonna tie in a couple of the uh, the mono eyes. I'm going to tie in another set of the loco legs 
here in the back. There we go. And I'm going to create my W loop. Okay, here's my uh, UV2 Scud Shrimp in tan. I'm gonna move those legs out of the way. Okay, there it is. Hey, in the description below, we have material lists as well as uh, a subscribe button over there. We'd love for you to keep updated with all of our videos we have coming out. And um, you can get the material kit for this or different materials uh, individually. And thanks for tying along with us. And we hope that you catch some fish on Flies Your Tying.